Okay, cat. This what's in this bag is mine. It's it's my Uber brought it to me, not you. Get away. There. You can have the empty bag. You 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 just play in the empty bag. Hello everybody, I am up here in Detroit, Michigan. Kind of just killing time, really nothing to do. The person over here at the uh, security guard check said there's really nothing to do around here. If you go out, it could be dangerous. Don't go do anything. So I googled fun things to do in Detroit. Four miles down the street, it's a little bit too late now because it's only open for two more hours, is the Henry Ford Museum. If I would have known that, I would have got here earlier this morning to check that out. But they have the Rosa Parks bus and all sorts of cool stuff. And then you got the Underground Railroad statue. You got, there, there's so much to see and do here in Detroit. I never knew it. All you do is hear bad things about this city. But obviously they got quite a, quite a few cool things too. Not quite a foo. That sounds too much like food. Is what I had actually just brought to my truck. Uber brought me some pretty good looking Italian food. I got some linguine with white sauce with hand grated Parmesan. What is in here? What is it? What is all this stuff? Ooh, we got some tiramisu goodness. Oh, what is in here? What is, oh, damn. Ooh, look at that bread. Yummy. Got some bread and this is hot what is in here what, what could this be it's warm I thought it was a salad no it's it's a soup they said they said salad it comes with the salad but no it came with with a soup an italian soup okay doesn't sound too bad actually all i really needed was the linguine and some tiramisu and bread really didn't need no soup but um, i'll deal with that I'm going to go ahead and chow down and uh, get ready to get unloaded, and I'll check back with you guys in a second. Continue on Plymouth Road for one mile. Well, that was a pretty decent night. Had some pretty good food. Look at... I love the ghetto-y, grungy, awesome look city streets sometimes in a quarter mile turn right onto Southfield Road <sighs> this could turn into a kitty vlog it could ow ow stop Okay, no more camera for you. No more camera for you. Well, try it. I'm really, really trying not to make this a food vlog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I had Uber deliver my food to me and stuff like that at the beginning of this video. It's something I don't want to continue for the rest of the video, but I have to. Because I left Michigan and I am now in Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is famous for pretty much as one thing across the United States. And one thing only. That is cheese. Definitely something I need to eat more of. And this place here will not let me bring my kitty in. But that, that's okay. Definitely a pretty amazing place. Not only can you get cheeses, you can get honeys. What is that? Maple sugars. All sorts of goodness. Look at it. 
Look at Wisconsin pure maple syrup. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. You won't find that at IHOP or Denny's. And that cow out front does have a name. Sissy. Definitely lots of goodness, definitely lots of fun stuff to buy. As a matter of fact, I can't leave this store empty handed. So I'm getting one of those preserves and some string cheese. <laughs> That's the most amazing tip jar I think I've ever seen. Oh, now yeah. it is it's quite enough. Uh, bye bye, have a great day. Okay. Well, that's it. That is what Wisconsin is famous for cheese so if you guys are ever up here this is definitely a great place to stop the staff and owners are amazing people plus you could take a selfie with a giant cow statue well keeping this short and sweet i'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog and uh, continue on down the road into minnesota hopefully find some more good roadside funness Though Minnesota's not as roadside goodness, funness as Wisconsin is because, well, let's face it, Wisconsin loves their crazy statues. Peace, everybody.